Alrighty, time for my round 4 game of this month's MSCM GP. Or actually, no, it's not round 4, it's the top 8, yeah, it's the quarterfinals. So I'm playing against Epid, who is on Podwatcher. Uh, yeah, Podwatcher. I haven't seen that deck in a while. And I actually do need to check seeds though, so... Uh, anyways, drawing my starting hand and it has absolutely nothing early. Uh, this is not keepable, so I will mulligan, because I need, uh... Okay, I have to, I'm on the play, but yeah, I'll go down to six to look for a one drop. This hand has one land and a, a bunch of one drop, a, a bunch of one drops. I think I take the risk. I'll keep this hand. Um, do I bottom? What do I bottom? Do I? I think I bottom Butterfly Rebellion, right? But well, no, Butterfly Rebellion makes my guys attack past their one ones. I think I actually bottom Sigil of the Many, although that although that feels incorrect. Well, it has to be one of these cards. I'll keep around Hold Steady Engine because it can be used to turn off their combo. And yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll bottom Sigil of the Many, even though that's probably incorrect. I just hope that's not incorrect. Uh, so, anyways, start with Chronicles and pass the turn. Uh, so I, th I'm actually really screwed over if they have Barton in their hand anywhere because I'm. I'm low on lands right now, and if I get mastered, okay, I yeah it has so I need to really hope that I don't get bartoned. Uh, it, right now I'll just attack with the fox and get more creatures onto the board. Oh, I I, I sequenced that incorrectly. I'll probably won't matter. Uh, like if they get the combo off, I can't really stop them. Or actually, I can hold steady on uh channeler of the veil to turn off their combo. But that requires me to draw a land, and I haven't drawn a land yet. I'm still waiting for a land. Alternatively, like if they go for a big play, I can play Nerve Eviction it. Uh, please don't. No, god damn it. Okay, well, uh, I I literally have no plays now. Oh, hey, there's the land I needed one turn ago. Uh, so now what? I can I can play Sigil, and that's my only play right now. Actually, that's fine. I, I play Sigil and I, and I attack because I have nothing better to do. And then I hope to draw land next turn so I can play out Holtz at the engine or play out Planar Eviction to get rid of the Barton. I mean, otherwise, I just don't have any options left. And they just let everything through. Okay, that's fine. If they have Godwatcher and they just drop it right now, that's quite good for me. I mean, I get a Planar Eviction off. A humble abode. Alright, well, they have 4 mana now. Uh, I mean, I do clock them in 3 turns if nothing changes. And they're thinking, all right. So they could also have like just a creature, not a combo piece. Like if if they have just a creature, they play it. Uh, they play it out, and if it's threatening enough, then I guess I play near eviction it. But if it's not that bad, then I just let it stick around or something. Okay, so my opponent plays a Lumi Orthodox. Well, at least it's killable by planar eviction, I'm, and it's not like I'm actually casting two spells anyways anytime soon. Oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, do I just butterfly rebel in here? Uh, no, that means I still get blocked by Lumi Orthodox. Um, yeah, this just isn't a good hand to try to play this mat uh, play this matchup in. I think I keep planar eviction in hand and hold city engine on something important. And they combo off at five mana just as is. It's it's only opponents. Okay, that's annoying. Um. Well, what? So, uh, so a nebula on two colors, hold steady. Uh, but butterfly swing with every, you know, swing with the uh, elemental, and hope my opponent doesn't go off. But, well, they can, so they can lurk. They can like lurk into a princess, which completely blows up my board. I can actually hold steady on the princess. Does that do anything? Uh, n absolutely not. Yeah, I think I'll hold steady and I'll hold the hold steady in hand, and I'll, like yeah, I'll, I'll hold both removal spells in hand. And uh, annotation red white right, and just play out butterfly rebellion and swing for two, and hope they don't have it. And I'm not look I'm not looking forward to trying to win post board games because they just get to bring in way more artifacts. I mean, way more enchantment and non creature hate. And I all I, all I get to bring in is uh is this selective breeding. They might just have to combo. Or like yeah, they they have like one part of the combo, so now they just get to do it. Huh. Or they have both parts, so they're just like doing it one by one. 
Uh, so yeah, one of the option, like one of my options, was to hold steady on Chandler, but then they just lurk into something that blows up the hold steady engine, and then I lose. Yeah. Uh. Oh what? No, okay. But they're fetching God Watcher, and then I just lose, right? Uh, do they? Yeah, they have it. All right, fine. I I couldn't do anything about that because I got a horrible draw. All right, so post board, what do I get? Guiding Light does not help me at all. Labor Ambitions does not help me. Sigil shuts off their combo, but doesn't do anything beyond that. I don't th Actually, they have some amount of reanimation. Maybe it shuts off enough things for me to bring in. Her Herd's Bounty is not very useful, I, I don't think. They have lots of ways to blow up my guys, so buying the Great Evo is not reliable. Old City is still the best way to deal with Channeler before it comes down. Right? Maybe Lay Bear is useful. Well, Bind gets rid of their taxi taxing things. Actually, no, they don't have a good way to blow up creatures, and Bind doesn't actually uh, bring the thing back until they blow up the creature. I think Bind is good here. In fact, I'll bore out a planar eviction for it. Uh, and then I need to make one more cut. Maybe it's a Sigil of Radiance. Maybe Hold Steady. Like, does Hold Steady do the same thing as Sigil, basically? I think so. Yeah, it basically does the same thing as Sigil and Hold Steady. I mean, Hold Steady could randomly name something important, but I wouldn't count on it. And I guess I'll run this. Yeah, maybe I bring, maybe I board out one more planar eviction just to get this going. I mean, Lady Bear Ambitions is useful on two, right? I'm on the play this time, so like maybe this is better because I want to snipe their uh lurks before they can do anything with them. And maybe yeah, uh, I guess I'll try this. Actually, no, conf they can Confining Priest my, my tokens, and then that turns off buying the Great Evo. But they can also Confining Priest, like, they can also blow, uh, blow up my Planar Evictions. And I think beyond, between the two, I'm more... I think I can trust that my creatures won't be blown up more often than the other one. Okay, so there's not a great hand. In fact, it's a really slow hand, but do I want to go down to 6? So I got Chronicles, Sigil, and then hope they don't blow up anything. If they have a taxer, at least I have lands. I think I keep this, even though I'm not very happy about it. And I just hope the top deck something good. But to be fair, like that's sort of the mentality I have to do when playing this matchup, because I'm extremely unfavored. And like if they play a Mad Dork, I will kill it. Uh, it'll be better if I top deck something so that I don't have to eat, that I can also play something else. So I want another one drop, basically. Do they have the... Yeah, they have the mana dork. Uh, Slatfield Workgate. Like letting them untap on with three mana is not something I'm happy about. But like, can I afford to let that happen? What's the worst that can happen? They play something that blows up Slatfield Workgate. I can also just play Sigil, and then next turn I go Slatfield Bind. Yeah. So what's the worst thing that can happen if I just let them play a three drop? Henry. Henry also like everything dies to Bind, right? So that should be fine. And Slafia lets me play on curve better, so like, it's more high rolly, but I think it's probably worth going for, yeah. I think I'll risk it. Like, it could- I could get horribly punished for this, but whatever, no pain, no gain. Uh, let's- let's hope they don't have anything super busted. And if they don't, then I get to play Bind the Great Evil, and I think that with three tri with two extra triggers, I- right? And then I can, if I, if the game goes, goes long for long enough, I can do Slaffield plus Bind grinding, which will uh, slowly wipe away their board. Okay, seems like uh, they're not Margaret. Okay, good, that's fine. And another Hierarch Ranger. So, oh, actually, uh, hmm, I can't Sigil this turn. But do I actually care about Margaret? Maybe I just, yeah, maybe I just Sigil this turn to prevent them from comboing next turn. Because they are getting su 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 uh, suspiciously close to combo mana, and I don't want that to be something I want to... Uh, and like, buying the Great Evo is... I'll use it to remove something that's actually threatening to me. So in that case, I attack with the Fox first, and then I play Sigil. And if they trade with Margaret, then all the better for me. Okay, they take, play Sigil, and pass the turn. So they can spend their entire turn blowing up Sigil, but if they do, then I just... I just play Sigil number two, and hopefully they're out of ways to blow up Sigil after that. Or like, if if they spend their entire turn flipping Margaret, I'm just going to bind into Sigil. Like they have no mass removal, or mass enchantment remo removal, so if I get enough Sigils down, they can't blow all of them up. And once I get Slapfield bind going, then I can exile one thing every turn, which is kind of funny. So humble 
abode, naming human. You know, despite the fact that I'm the white enchantments deck, somehow I don't have anything in my sideboard that's good against combo. I guess technically Bind the Mind is supposed to be good against combo, but my pitch combo deck runs uh, odd effects, so it doesn't help me. Uh, so if I draw a land next turn, I think what I do is I bind Margaret and then play Sigil, and then turn afterwards I'll Slapfield bind and just do that do that every turn until they run out of things. And they're probably doing something. Okay, they're tapping their mana now. They're buffing up Margaret for a swing, which, you know, whatever. And they're not spending the mana, interesting. And they pa okay, they're holding Commanding Princess. How do I not get blown out by Commanding Princess? They're planning on- so they're pl probably planning on end of turn Commanding Princess and combo off. Okay, well in that case I can go for Bind into Sigil. I mean, I guess Commanding Princess can blow up Slaffield? Hmm. The com uh, Commanding Princess can blow up my one of the Oxen. I think I attack with Fox to get them to play Commanding Princess out. Well, the problem is, if Commanding Princess is in play, how easily can they blink it? Like, they can also randomly find some way to, uh, yeah, hmm. Uh, I'll attack first, and then, like, if they play out Commanding Princess now, I'll just, they're not gonna play out Commanding Princess now. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, hmm. Like, if I play out Sigil, I know for a fact that they'll, uh, yeah, I know for a fact that they'll ne basically never commanding princess to sigil because they know that it won't do anything. Well, I mean, d it delays their th plays by turn. I think it's probably worth it. So then, yeah, bind sigil and s hope for the best. I guess yeah, I'll I'll play bind first. Actually, uh, right, it needs to be under the oxen. Or right. actually, so this actually scry effect. So the scry happens first. Interestingly, interestingly enough. Uh, well, I don't think I actually scryed earlier, so at least this mistake doesn't actually, uh, impact anything. Okay, we are going to scry, sure. And Chaos Module, okay, I want that. I definitely want that on top, so I'll keep that on top. Uh, they can act, oh, they can blow up Bind in response to prevent, or they can kill the Ox, ox in response with Princess, and that also blows up Sigil, and wait, that, oh, that lets them combo off next turn. Uh, I need to hope that they don't do that. Yeah, this, uh, I, I did not play around Princess at all. And I think I'm probably going to suffer for it. Like, this is really hard to represent Princess, right? I need them to not blow up the Ox in response so that I can actually play. Okay, I lose, yeah. Um, I, I did not think through my lines. Like, I definitely could have played around, I definitely could have played around this Princess. Oh, what? Okay, sure. Uh, that is completely fine by me that that was weird sure i mean that's still that means i still get to play out sigil number two so uh i'm st i can still no they didn't blow up sigil interesting i guess they were thinking of that they had another way to blow up sigil huh oh okay yeah they had it <clears throat> okay uh so it turns out um uh where is the fox <laughs> all right so now i lose right i I needed to, I, I just needed to hard cast Sigil of Radiance there instead of trying to do something funky like this sort of sequencing because Command Princess got me. Okay, well, hopefully they don't have the combo, but they probably do, so whatever, uh, uh, they they got me. This ma this matchup sucks anyways, so it, it's not like I was winning that game anyways. Or maybe, it, you know, like, uh, if I played better, maybe I could have won that game. Uh, what, so they would have end of turn Princess blown up my Slaffield plus the Fox, and then I got, uh, no, I wouldn't have... I would have what I would have drawn chaos module off the top next turn, but I wouldn't have known that, so I was still relying on top deck. But they, they certainly have the combo now, right? That's what they're like. Like that's what I feel like they were setting up towards. They play for Sacred Palace. Are, are they just like double checking to make sure they got every piece? If they don't actually have the win right now. I like I, I can play Sigil next turn, and that actually sort of oh they they're think do they not have the combo in hand? Okay, that actually gives me a chance then. Uh, no, next turn I, I'm forced to play Sigil because I need to prevent any possible combos. Or maybe I maybe I could wait a turn? I'm not sure. I, th I think I play out Sigil though. Yeah. I play Sigil and then the turn afterwards, I... Turn afterwards, I can pick up Bind the Great Evil and use it to start 
it's not field grinding, I guess, if I draw a land or something. Do they literally just have nothing? I, I find it hard to believe that li they literally have nothing in hand. But I, I could believe that they don't have the exact combo in hand. Maybe they got Lurk. Uh, they they probably have it. Or maybe they're taking, maybe they're setting up th their combo over two turns or something. Or maybe they're maybe they're they're just fetching a valley creature instead of the com instead of a combo piece. In which case, that'd be really good for me. Does that mean I don't have to play Sigil next turn if they don't have the combo piece? Uh, because that means now they have to draw into the combo. And like if they had the combo, they would have played it already. So they probably don't have the combo. So that means I can probably afford to let Sigil wait. Anointed Cur Okay, yeah, they don't have the combo. Okay, good. So they grab Slapfield, but I'm fine with that. Uh, they grab Chronic. Interesting. Okay, well, I Slapfield was the card I was that I most cared about, but uh, that's also f like if you're just going to take Chronicles instead, then yeah, be my guest. Uh, what transform Bart? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, that that's fine. I it's not like I was killing it anyways. But that is like yeah, that is clocking me. So that's something I need, do need to be slightly concerned about. And I, Chaos Mod, yeah, right, I, I already know that I have Chaos Module off the top. Uh, on the bright side, um, I do get to scry one with the bind before I flip for Chaos Module. So my play here is to Chaos Module and then see what I get, right? So what can I get? Uh, one mana removal, like another bind to Great Evil gets rid of Anointed Cursebreaker, which gets back to Chronicles, and then that gets a bunch of triggers everywhere. So Bind to Great Evil would be a good top deck. Really, just a bunch of random one drops would be nice. All right, here's Chaos Module. Let's see what I flip. So, I'm going to stack it so that I scry first. And Glow Spore Grove is interesting, but not what I need right now. I because I very much just need um yeah I very much just need uh Bind the Great. E I, I can't actually play uh Primal. What was it called? I I can't actually play out um Planar Eviction if I. Flip it off module because it requires me to play a land. Uh, maybe I keep around this just so I have a land playoff. Like just so I have a play this turn. Because if I don't play, any, if I don't play anything, I, what I just block with the ox to not die. I, I guess that's I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll bottom this. I, I need better flips. So chaos module, uh, mold one, one, two. Come on. I swear, like Chaos Module never gets the flips it needs when I need it the most. Well, so now what? Because I have, I guess I play out Nebula this turn, and I go down to nine. I chomp, chomp. Hopefully they don't have the combo. Next turn I Chaos Module again and hope to get some good flips or something. Yeah. And then, uh, and then just I, I just pass it the turn, right? I can swing with the Fox. I mean, the Fox is keeping back Anointed Cursebreaker technically. Uh, but uh, Anointed Curse Breaker can just get buffed, so it doesn't matter, so I should just swing with the Fox. But yeah, uh, I just n need to not die this turn, and then I can Chaos Module again and try to get some good flips. Although I'm actually not sure what good flips even entails at this point. I think like some amount of buying the Great Evils would be nice. Do they have the combo? They got a 3-drop. Uh, no they don't, I guess. Yeah, because mm, the other Barton is making it cost less. Mm, they're still playing it. They're going to okay buff anointed curse breaker yeah that 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 makes sense that's fine. Dark behemoth hard cast. Do they also have the other piece? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. All right, I need to start chomping now because I don't want to die randomly to stuff. Uh, do they have the combo? Um, if it's Chandler of the Veil, do I just die? Uh, no, Tyline. Okay, that's fine. That gets rip slap field. That's okay. That's bad, but that could be worse. Alright, so what gets me out of this? Uh, I'm actually not sure. I don't think a single card actually gets me out. Why am I top decking so many lands? Alright, so now I have to hope for good Chaos Module flips. Uh, come on. Alright, fine. I, I guess I just lose then. There's like nothing I could do about that, right? Uh, block, block. You might 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Technically not dead, but like... In pretty much dead, but technically not dead. I, I, I guess I play Sigil and hope to... That something happens or whatever. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, yeah, uh, uh, they're one off lethal if nothing happens. So I can still survive, but I don't see what I'm doing after this. They're going to buff Anointed Curse Breaker. 
And they have Lurk. Okay, fine. So that is probably the yeah, they just grab um they grab Chandra of the Veil and drain me out. And the Sigil of Radiances did absolutely nothing this game. So yeah, that I guess that's a good showcase of what happens when you try to not get comboed and still get and then yeah. I think it's just the combination of um Barton coming down early and then me not be being able to deal with it. And then have getting my Bind the Great Evil blown out. But technically I still survive, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I still survive. So go down to two and then I die to channel drains. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I, I I couldn't win this anyways. It's just matchup isn't good. And I could have been on more planar evictions actually, right? Could that have done anything? So what that would be something like Lay Bear like this configuration? Because why did I pour out yeah, I pour it out hold steady because that thing does not stop any of the taxiing guys. So like yeah, this sort of configuration could have worked. But that's not how it worked out, so yeah, well, anyways, that's the end of my GP run, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to perform better in the uh, next GP.